Thank you very much, Carrie Lamb and Courtney. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The dedication for today's ceremony will be offered by Kutaba Ablui, the URI chaplain of the Muslim Community Center of Kingston. Chaplain Ablui is currently a University of Rhode Island PhD student in the Department of Computer Science in the area of cybersecurity. He received his Master's of Science in Computer Science from Queen's University in Canada and his Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering from the University of Sharjah in the United Arab Emirates. Concurrently, he studied Islamic law, Quranic exegesis, and spiritually under renowned scholars across the globe. He is a member of the Association of Muslim Chaplains and a valued member of the URI Chaplains Association here at the University of Rhode Island. He currently serves as an imam of the Muslim Community Center of Kingston, which serves Newport and Southern Rhode Island. His main service is focused on the themes of interfaith dialogue, nonviolence, and community engagement. Ladies and gentlemen, I present Chaplain Katiba Abalui. By the name of God, the gracious, compassionate, and merciful, greetings, congratulations, and prayers from the URI Chaplains Association, and a special peace and love from the URI Muslim community. We warmly share your happiness. We proudly honor your achievements. We sincerely pray for the continuity of your success, and we wish you further and brighter accomplishments. Dear beloved graduates, today we blend celebration with gratitude. We paint rejoice with reflection, and we accompany pride with love and humility. We celebrate the peaceful arrival of your boats to the shores after your long journey of diligent works, thoughtful studies, and aspiring learning. You faced all types of waves, but you smartly adjusted your navigation. Your boats were challenged with various storms, but your sails of patience and determination were stronger. You surfed the salty waters, you endured the burning sun, you maintained your integrity in the dark, cold night, and you have finally arrived. It is truly a cheerful moment, and you deserve to celebrate. Maybe also you can celebrate that no more that bothersome professor will give you any more assignments and exams. Well, for the coming years, you will be tasked with different assignments and you will undertake different exams. The graders shall be people, and history shall record your final mark. Whoever does an atom weight of good shall enjoy its profits, and whoever does an atom weight of evil shall suffer its consequences. Welcome to life with its beauties, complexities, and realities. Your life is like a garden, and your achievement today is like a tree that is heavy with white fruits. If you would like to know how much you have learned in the past few years, see, when you pick that fruit, and you chop it into halves, quarters, or tenths, how much would you take? And how much would you give? What you give is actually what you have learned. Let us dedicate the knowledge acquired at the chambers of this institution to be the courage that speaks when others are silent out of fear. May it be the mountain of wisdom when the winds of madness blow. May it be the loudest song of peace when the air is polluted with conflicts and tensions. May it be the generous hand that clinches to giving when arms are paralyzed by greed. May it be the ocean of tolerance that welcomes all flowing rivers 
May it be the flower of social justice that emits perfume even at the times of a drought. May it be the moving vehicle when drivers have stopped to rest with any unmerited status quo. May it be the sound of rationality when emotions ring. And may it be the sound of sensitivity when facts roar. May you be true seekers of the truth forever. And to whom are we dedicating this ceremony today? It is dedicated to the benevolent arms that were always wide open to support you when you needed a touch of support. To the compassionate hearts that inspired you with the spirits of hope whenever you were shadowed with desperation or loneliness. To the caring minds that never stopped thinking about you when you were away. To the loving eyes that regularly shed tears when they remembered you but they strive always to hide it from you because they have put your educational success above their own feelings. To the parents and to the families, we dedicate this ceremony. Let us remember in these happy moments the ones who could have been with us but were prevented. It could have been a cry for a loaf of bread to silence the hunger that made them think about survival before education. It could be the grimy hands of oppression that suppressed their eager to sit in an institution like yours. It could be the curse of wars, which only delivers lessons of death and destruction. Or it could be a suffering that we're not aware of, but God only knows about. We say, that education is for all. But the harsh reality, education remains very expensive and it remains a privilege. Let's be humble and grateful to be granted such privilege. Are you the one, the real, the light, the first, the last, the inward, the outward, the majestic, the beautiful, the glorious, the gracious, may you bless this crowd. May you bless the University of Rhode Island. May you bless this day. And may you repeatedly bless these ceremonies. Keep us all united. Keep us always enlightened. And keep us delighted. Amen. This weekend in Kingston, we will confer, believe it or not, 4,107 degrees, including 3,439 here today. Watching our students march in today, which I always very much enjoy doing, and watching them yesterday at the graduate commencement ceremony, I could not help but notice the striking diversity represented by our graduates. They come from all across America, from many nations of the world, from many social and economic backgrounds, races, ethnicities, orientations, and political persuasions. Increasingly, our students, indeed increasingly the entire University of Rhode Island, reflects the marvelous diversity of our nation and the world. Together we make up a community, a community that comes together today to celebrate our mutual achievements and to share our joy with each other. Across many generations, loyal alumni have gathered in Kingston today to share in this celebration, and we are particularly proud to have the class of 1965 celebrating their 50th reunion behind the Piper today. Will the class of 1965 please stand so that we may salute you.
The, tre the trusteeship of the University of Rhode Island is the responsibility of the Board of Education and the Council on Higher Education. These are the men and women who, as volunteers, spend many hours working diligently to further enhance this great university and build upon its extraordinary strengths so that we can better serve the people of Rhode Island and America. It is my pleasure today to rec recognize those members of the board who are with us. Would each trustee stand as I read his or her name, and will the audience please hold your applause until all members of the board have been introduced. Chair of the board, Barbara Cobb. Michael Bernstein, Chair of the Higher Education Council. Colleen Callahan. Karen Forbes, Senator Thomas Izzo, the Honorable Carrie Raffinelli, retired Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Santos, John Smith Jr., Marta Martinez, Dennis Duffy, and Dr. Joyce Stavos. Thank you for being here. Rhode Island is indeed blessed and the University of Rhode Island is particularly blessed to be represented in Washington by one, I think, of the most dedicated and devoted delegations of any state in the nation. We are delighted today to welcome three members of our delegation who are here to celebrate with all of us today. They are Senator Jack Reed, Congressman David Cicilline, and Congressman James Langevin, in whose district we reside. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, speaking today on behalf of the governor of the state of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations, and the Rhode Island Board, is its chair, Barbara Cobb. In addition to her role in the Board of Education, Barbara Cottom is Executive Vice President, Rhode Island Market Executive, and Head of Corporate Affairs at Citizens Bank. Please welcome our Chair, Barbara Cottom. Thank you, President Dooley, honored guests, family, friends, and graduates. Good afternoon. On, on behalf of Governor Gina Raimondo, I am tremendously honored to bring the greetings of the state of Rhode Island, the very proud state that URI calls home. On behalf of the Board of Education, congratulations to the class of 2015. What a wonderful time to be graduating from this truly impressive institution. Thinking Big has transformed every aspect of the university, including your own individual development and success as a student. You're probably sitting thinking, yes, this is an exciting time, and I'd really like to stay around and see what happens next. Well, imagine when you return what this campus will be like when some of the projects that were started while you were here are finished. A new center for chemical and forensic sciences. A new engineering complex. A world-class brain science research center where one day it is possible treatments and cures for such debilitating diseases and conditions as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and traumatic brain injury will be discovered. And of course, URI has distinguished itself as a model of community building and inclusion with its new gender and sexuality center, the first of its kind in the country, located at the entrance of the campus. We have President Dooley, faculty, staff, and our students to thank for continuing to make the university a place where all are welcome, and as our newest alumni, you are always welcome to return. From the athletic arenas where URI's men and women's basketball teams are on the rise, to the classroom and laboratory, 
URI is making news around the nation and the world. Imagine too what the next generation of graduates will celebrate just as you celebrated. Matt Franco's huge win on America's Got Talent. URI's first Marshall Scholar, Morgan Breen. Student athlete, Caroline Casey's life-saving bone marrow donation. And today's student speaker, Matthew Quainu, who will preserve, pursue a career in ministry. So for a moment, imagine your own future. What's our advice to you as you embark, uh, embark on your path? Dream. Keep dreaming and follow your heart. If you do something that you're passionate about, you will make a tremendous difference in your life and the world around you. And you know what? You'll have fun doing it. As Eleanor Roosevelt said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Treasure this day as you begin the next phase of this adventure we call life and treasure all your wonderful memories of URI. On behalf of the governor and the Board of Education, congratulations and Godspeed to the class of 2015. Each year, the University of Rhode Island proudly celebrates the achievements of a few select individuals who have distinguished themselves through their accomplishments, courage, and outstanding contributions to the university, to the state of Rhode Island,